The first time I met him, it was very strange because I was, uh, in, in those days, I was driving uh, a Mini for BMC and I went into the BMC sports team, which was, I don't know, kind of a small little place up in the Midlands somewhere. I went in there one day to see if I could get another uh, piece for my Mini. And uh, and so Marcus Chambers, it was that was right. He was the person who was in charge of that. And uh, he said, um, "I've got a question." He said, "Do you have you ever heard of a somebody who calls himself a film star called um, Steve McQueen?" And I said, "No, I I don't know who Steve McQueen is." And he said, "Well, he's in this country, and he's called me up because he wants to see if I could let him b- borrow a car to use in a race." And I said, I don't know who he is, and I don't even heard of him as a racing driver, have you? And I said, no, I haven't heard of him. And he said, well, he's staying in a hotel in London. And I said, well, I'm going down to London. I'll, I'll go and check in, if you like, and find out. And, and I'll call you and tell you wh- whether I think this guy is honest or not. And I went down there, and I went into this hotel, and Steve and I got... We met up and got talking and everything. We talked for about three hours about life and all sorts of things like that and um, so that was how it started and what happened then is that um, that I um, got um, what did I get for him to drive I got a, 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 an, a, an, an Austin A40 who was somebody a car that uh, somebody I knew and he drove that in a race I think it was Olden Park and then uh, I got another car from him, for him to drive somewhere else. So he drove a couple of cars in England and that sort of thing. And then um, I, I was winning the British uh, Saloon Car Championship at that time in my Mini. And I was, um, I, I'd got enough points not to do the last race. So when the last race came up, it was, uh, it was um, Christabel Carlyle, Vic Elford, and... Instead of me, I said, Steve, you can race my car. And so they did, the, those were the three in the race. At and, and, by then, and by then you obviously thought he was quite good. Oh, yes. I, well, I knew he was quite good because by then we'd ridden, we'd ridden motorcycles together. Because tell, we, tell us about that, how that came about. Well, um, it, it came about because he said, um, I mean, m- motorcycles is really my thing, he said, and, uh, and, uh, and, that, and I hadn't been to his place in in Hollywood at that time, and, and uh, he said, motorbikes are the thing, let's go and get a couple of motorbikes because I'm here. He was making a film called The War Lover in London, which was a black and white film of the wartime, strangely enough, and that's what he was making. That's why he was in England at the time. And um, so he said, well, let's get a couple of motorbikes and we can go and play around in the in thing. And he said, I'm spending a lot of time in this airfield with these aeroplanes doing this uh, thing and said, well, I'm sure we can ride bikes together. So we went into a, a, a second-hand motorcycle shop and bought these couple of bikes, and we used to ride bikes all over the place uh, together, and that's how that whole started. And, uh, uh, you know, it all sort of went on from there, you know.